Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you a video uh, about what I recently downloaded. It is called uh, Debut Video Capture Software. Uh, I watched it off Mobile Phone 2003's video on a free um, webcam video recorder for your desktop that will put it straight to your desktop for free. Um, I'm just going to show you a, f a few things about it that maybe you still might be a little bit confused about like um, when I watched his video, his video was, was very clear, very smooth. When I tried it, it was lagging a lot. Uh, and that's why I'm just going to show you a few tips to, to try and stop it from lagging. If you've got any questions, just, just ask. And I'll, I'll, I'll put the, um, the, the website that you can download it from in the description, so don't have to worry about that. Right, if I just load up this uh, debut video capture software. Bear with it a sec. Right, you should see me a little bit. I'm a little bit too close to the screen because my mics aren't too bad, aren't too good on my computer. Um, right, very basic window. Um, you can you can always choose from your webcam if you've got a built-in one or webcam on the side or whatever to re to screen recording. And all it does is it it really bugs me because it multiplies the screen by like a hundred times. But when you record and it sorts itself out, but you don't know if it's working until it starts recording. Um, you can snapshot as the XP. They have a snapshot if you've got a camera. Out there. No, sorry, if you if you just got your screen, you can snapshot it to just keep uh, to keep the screen. Um, different things. One of the main things I I play with is trying to find out which is the best file to use for saving the um, videos onto. Whether it's uh, it depends whether it's a screen capture or a webcam capture. Now, if it's webcam, I use WMV because I've tried it. I use Windows Movie Maker to put my um, videos on the internet on YouTube. Uh, now, AVI won't seem to work on my Windows Movie Maker. Um, yeah, that's what's called Windows Movie Maker. Uh, WMV will though, but if I'm, I'm I'm doing my screen record, it works better on AVI because I can edit the files and stuff like that. Um, so you just have to see which one your system works with better. Uh, but I'm going to show you a few things like uh, changing uh, the encoders and stuff like that, changing the resolution and all that kind of stuff, and putting uh, effects onto it like uh, Sapphire, um, black and white stuff like that. So uh, you should see this little box here. If you just go to that, that brings up your um, video encoding settings. Now I've got mine set to M uh, MPEG4 native. The reason for that is I would normally use my DivX um, codec, but the only problem with that is the sound can't. The, the sound's always ahead of it, um, and I've I've worked out that MPEG4. If you use it with the the, the MP3 native uh, sound compressor, it works out to be exactly the same, near enough to be precisely the same time. So there is no lag on either end. Uh, and I've noticed on Duncan's video that there was no lag. It was very, very smooth. Uh, and I, he didn't explain what settings he had to get to have that to have that smoothness. I've, I've seen some comments on other mo uh, other videos about uh, the amount of RAM that you've got in the computer. I don't think it's going to make any difference at all whether you have two or three gigs of RAM. Two gigs of RAM on Vista is good. Uh, is very good actually, but three gigs you just don't really need it. It's 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 not necessary. You're only going to use a maximum of about 500 megabytes max. That's if you put it to the the limit of the usage. Um, but anyway, I I use the MPEG uh, four. Uh, you can use any of these. It just depends which works best with the the sound because it always seems to lag on it. Um, anyway, I use that and I use it at, at that um, sound format. I don't know why I've always just had it as that. Uh, if, if if I go onto this one here in the middle, that's the resolution settings. Now I now I haven't touched the the the, the um, resolution of my video because I think it's okay the same the, the right size it is. Uh, I've I changed the frame rate as well. It, it, I think the default is 30, 
Now the 30 will make, even with the MPEG-4, it will make it lag the sound. So if you, oh, what I've, noticed, I've, I've had a little mess around with it and 40 seems to get it just right. Uh, any more, any less and you'll get a little bit of lag. So um, I would leave it at 40. You can get your little uh, video effects. You can change the brightness, the contrast, the gamma rays. Um, not the gamma rays, the gamma. Sorry. Uh, you can apply the filter. You can turn it black and white. As you can see, my screen is just turned black and white. You can turn it negative. Which uh, it kind of looks kind of cool, uh, and you can turn it. Um, is it sepia or some something like that? And it turns it like um, it's like an old, olden day films. But I just keep it as uh, I don't have to apply filter, and it turns back to color. Uh, now I don't change anything. You can change the font. You can put a watermark on and stuff like that. Um, now if you go into your record options on your on your um, options there. Uh, it should come up with all the different things that you want to worry about. Uh, keep that on 30 frames per second uh, because that's 30 frames per second, but the video is 40 frames per second, which means it should roughly work out the same. Um, with the video device, I've got my built in webcam because it's HP laptop. Uh, I just use that. Uh, I put mine to uh, AVI if it is a screen capture. Um, you just have a little search through and see what you can tweak on here to make it better for your system uh, and once you've done it all you do is, is you go on to you, you click on recordings there and it will bring up the the find and play recordings and those are all the, the videos that you've recorded um, previously and all you do is you click on them you click play and it will start playing the video uh, and you can always save them onto the desktop or wherever you want to save them to and then you can just find them wherever um, this toolbox it's a quick download but it, uh, you might have a problem with um, you know when you change your encoder, not that one, sorry. This MPEG uh, MPEG4 native with the MP3, you need to download the toolbox with it because those two files without it won't work together. So I'm afraid that you're gonna have to download that. But it's just a quick download; it's free anyway. All this is free. Um, very easy box to use. Record, stop, pause. Uh, it tells you the volume there that you're going at, the, the frames per second and all that kind of stuff so you haven't got to worry about any of that kind of stuff the, the quality on the screen capture isn't the best in the world I prefer Cam Studio because I have mine at quite a, a high quality I think um, so that's what I keep mine as uh, but that's about it for the uh, the debut video capture as I said I'll pop the link in the description um, by the way quick question I hope you lot are liking my um, backgrounds. I don't know where I keep getting them from. I just keep getting loads. I just really like the space ones, and I think they're kind of funky. Uh, if you ever want any links to any of the sites that I get them from, just let me know, and I'll I'll post them for you. Uh, but just let us know what you think of the, the the backgrounds. Have a look at my other videos and tell me what you think of them. Um, that's what I kind of like, so that's how I do it. So thanks very much and I hope I've helped, uh, please comment, uh, please subscribe, any comments will be happily replied to uh, and thanks very much, cheers.